Well, g'day everyone and welcome back to the channel. Um, today I am working on my chili pepper harvest and I'm gonna make candied jalapenos. Now, I'm using a recipe for this one. Um, it's off a website called Chili Pepper Madness. Uh, and it's by Mike Holquist. Always give credit when it's someone else's recipe. Um, now the recipe actually calls for half a pound of jalapenos. I've got a pound and a half. So I'm obviously gonna have to expand it a bit and as per normal with me, I will probably change it a bit. Uh, now, some of these have been harvested for a while and you can see the wrinkled up and softened a bit. Uh, not too stressed about it because they end up cooking in a syrup, which is gonna re-inflate them. And then they end up sitting in a jar in that syrup. So yeah, I've got a pound and a half of peppers here and I've got to go through, slice them all up, about an eighth of an inch. Um, so for Australians, about three mil. And I'm using the reds as well as the greens in this. Uh, these jalapenos are pretty hot anyway, so it's gonna be a pretty spicy one. And quite frankly, I think the color's gonna look a bit better if I've got both in there. And I know plenty of people who like really hot food. Now you'll notice I'm wearing gloves for this one. Uh, I don't play around with chili. Uh, people go, oh yeah, jalapenos, they're pretty mild. Uh, as I said, mine are pretty hot. And you know, last thing I wanna do is be putting chili oil on my fingers and then rubbing it on my eyes, cause that's just gonna and there we have a bad one so always keep an eye out as you're cutting you can see that one there's a little bit of rot or something like that in it so that can go aside just make sure the other pieces that came off it are okay now I am using my knife for this one um, trying to cut these on a mandolin is just gonna be absolutely a pain in the butt. Um, with gloves on, I reckon I'm gonna end up losing ends off my fingers yet again. So we'll just use a knife. All right, well, I will go through, cut the rest of these up, and I will meet you back in a second when I start getting the liquid ready. There's our chilies all chopped up, ready to go. Now it's time to make the syrup up. Okay, now the standard mixture is a lot less than what I'm making, but I do have extra here. So standard mixtures for the half pound of um, chilies. Uh, I've got uh, pretty much a bit more than triple of a half pound. So I'm actually making four times the amount because any extra, I can can the syrup as itself and then use the syrup. Okay, so for every cup of sugar, we add in half a cup of apple cider vinegar. Now I've used a, um, a raw sugar or a unprocessed sugar. And I think the moldy flavor is just gonna add an extra t touch to it. And we also add in half a teaspoon each of turmeric powder and ground ginger. Now it's optional to add in a teaspoon of chili powder, but as I said, my chilies are fairly hot, so I don't think it needs any extra heat to it. And this will be fine this way. 
All right, next steps to take this over, bring it up to a rapid boil and then reduce it to a simmer until we get a gooey, gooey syrup. Okay, so we've come up to the boil and I'll turn the turn it down, watch it when it boils because being full of sugar, it's gonna wanna boil over. So keep an eye on it when it's getting close to that boiling stage. Turn it down to a simmer, just let it simmer away for five, 10 minutes. And basically we're creating the same sort of thing as a simple syrup. Uh, so we want the sugar not to fall out of solution, which means it's got to boil in there for a little bit. Uh, now with any sugar thing, do not stir it uh, once you've got it to this to this stage. Um, you don't want to stir it too much. Stirring causes crystallization. Um, so it drops back out of the solution later on. So we'll just let it simmer away and then we'll add and our chilies, obviously we're gonna to have to stir it once we add the chilies, but as much as possible, we wanna avoid stirring. Okay, now we go in with our chili. So we get it all nice and coated. And that needs to simmer. Once it comes back up to heat, it needs to simmer for 10 minutes. And it will slightly cook the chili down a little bit as we go. So the chili will probably darken up in color. All right, my mistake, it's only four minutes that you're supposed to simmer for, which I was luckily checking the recipe as I went along and I only done it for four minutes. All right, so now we're gonna jar it up. After we jar it up, it's gonna go in for a water bath treatment, so that way it's gonna keep. Uh, if you just jar it and then it'll keep in the fridge for three months, uh, but water bathing it, it should keep for about two years. Of course, once you open it, then it's gotta go in the fridge. Now, of course, because I'm gonna give some away, um, just reuse jars for those ones. Um, just for the simple fact that way I'm not using my good jars and I may not get them back. So all we're going to do is start with slotted spoon and just wipe the jar up. And handy dandy chopstick, just to pack it all in. Now they recommend a quarter inch of headspace in the recipe. I, to me, that seems like it's not enough. I think it's got an increased chance of it blowing with a quarter inch. So I'll probably go down a, about a half inch. That's more what I like using for headspace. Okay, so just packing that as I go up. This is very hot. And then just covering. Nice clean dry cloth, Let's just clean up the edge. Put on that 
So lid. Okay, I just want to go finger tight and then a wee bit more. All right, so I'm going to go through, bottle up the rest of these and then water bath them. All right, I figure I'd better go over water bath canning for those of you who haven't seen it before. Uh, the reason I'm water bath canning these is because if you pressure can, number one, I don't have a pressure canner. Um, they're a pretty rare item here in Australia. Uh, number two, if you do pressure can it, it's going to end up cooking way too much. You're going to, those chilies are delicate and you're gonna break them down. You're gonna overcook them, you're gonna break them down. So all we're doing is water bath canning, which means they go in there, there's two inches of water above them, uh, bring it up to the boil, and once it's up to the boil and it sits in there for 10 minutes, once the 10 minutes done, turn it off, let it cool down a bit in the water. Um, after it's cooled down a wee bit in the water, then pull it out. Uh, the seals will pop down overnight and it'll be right to go. And of course, a lid over the top just to help it to boil quicker because we all know a watch pot never boils and if you got the lid on, you can't watch the pot. Okay everyone, here we are next day and there is our final product looking absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so I ended up with three of the half pints of cowboy candy and four half pints of the syrup. Now the syrup can be used as a replacement for sweet chili. Um, so where you're using sweet chili sauce, you can replace it with the syrup. Absolutely gorgeous stuff. Got a bit of spice in it because uh, these are some hot jalapenos. So it's probably a little bit spicier than sweet chili sauce, but that's fine. But have a look at that. I am How can you resist that as a gift to someone? Um, now there is an absolute chili lover at work who will get those two little jars, you know, two nice recycled jars labeled up, absolutely gorgeous. And he will get those as a gift. All right, thank you very much everyone for watching and bye for now.